Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? Welcome once again to a new video on my channel. This time, I want to share with you what I consider to be the top 20 best extensions for Google Chrome in 2025 and possibly for the next year, 2026 as well. To start off this video, I want to let you know that all the extensions I'm about to show you could be found in a post I've already made directly on my website, so you can go straight there. Basically, you'll find all the information about each extension, as well as the direct download link from the Chrome Web Store, so you can install whichever ones you find most useful. The first extension I want to share with you is an ad blocker known as uBlock Origin Lite, and it's basically an extension or tool that lets you block any ad or advertisement while you're browsing the internet. It's an excellent tool that I honestly think you're going to love if you're used to browsing multiple websites while working, doing homework, or conducting research. This extension will be really helpful for blocking those annoying ads that tend to pop up on the internet. The next extension I also want to share with you is a second ad blocker, in case the previous one doesn't work properly for you, or if you just want an alternative to the other one. And basically, besides performing its main function, What's interesting about this ad blocker is that it allows you to remove or block any content from a page that you don't like. It has a feature that lets us basically remove elements from web pages in case they start to bother us, or block an ad that hasn't been completely eliminated. The next extension is called Session Buddy, and it's basically an extension or tool that allows you to manage your tabs while you're working in your browser. Basically, if you're someone who tends to work with multiple tabs and you accidentally close your browser, you've probably lost all your progress or all your files, tabs, and basically everything you were working on at some point. With Session Buddy, the idea is to be able to save your tabs, to work with them, and to have them basically stored in the browser's memory so that if you accidentally close it, you don't lose what you were viewing. In addition, it also lets you manage your tabs by projects or activities where you need certain pages. The next extension is called Google Full Page, and what it allows you to do is basically take a full capture, a complete screenshot, okay, of a specific page. No matter how long the web page is, you'll be able to take a full screenshot of the page to view all its content. The next extension I want to share with you is called LiveShot, and it's basically a very useful tool that allows you to quickly take screenshots of a specific page, any page you're browsing on the internet. If you want to take a screenshot of any element, you'll be able to do it with this application, and you'll be able to add text, add arrows, basically highlight anything you want to emphasize. And honestly, it's truly excellent for taking screenshots and also customizing them quite extensively. The very next extension is called Volume Master, and its primary function is to let you significantly increase the volume of any particular tab or any specific page on the internet. If you're suddenly watching a video or perhaps browsing a web page, and the audio sound on that particular page, or even on a YouTube video, isn't coming through properly, with this incredibly useful extension you can effectively boost the volume by up to 600%. It's a pretty simple feature, but it is incredibly useful and highly effective. The next extension is called MultiFind, and basically what it allows you to do is search for a word or any element directly on a web page so you can highlight that word or whatever you're looking for on a specific page. You can even highlight specific words with a particular color, so I truly think it's an absolutely amazing and incredibly useful feature. The next powerful extension we have is called Single File, and this basically allows you to conveniently save an entire web page you're currently browsing as a complete HTML file, which will meticulously store that entire page with all its essential elements, including all the text, every image, the complete design layout, practically everything you need, all contained within a single self-sufficient file, in case you ever want to view that specific page when you unfortunately don't have an active internet connection available. The next extension is widely known as Print Friendly and PDF, and its primary function is quite interesting since it effectively allows you to print web pages or elements from web pages as PDF files, but carefully removing everything that isn't truly useful in the document, such as intrusive ads, distracting sidebars, or extraneous texts that might not be particularly relevant or are simply part of other elements. The very next extension we have planned will allow you to conveniently download all of the images contained on any given web page. With just a couple of clicks, you'll be able to access all the images on the page you're visiting. 
And here's an important advantage. You don't have to download each image one by one, but instead you can get all the images with just a couple of clicks. Now we move on to the next extension called Copy Tabs URL. And this is a pretty interesting extension because it conveniently allows you to copy the links of all of the tabs you currently have open in your browser. You can easily copy all those currently open tabs, their addresses or web pages directly to your clipboard and then send or paste them wherever you want. The next extension is known as Click to Remote and its function is quite interesting because it allows you to remove elements from web pages that you don't want to be visible at that moment or that might be bothering you. With this extension, you can remove any element, any image or simply any function from a page, deleting it in just a few seconds with a couple of clicks. The next extension we'll look at is called Link Over, and its primary function is to let you preview pages before you actually visit them. All you really have to do is simply hover your mouse over a link or a page you want to go to, and a preview will instantly appear right there. The next extension is known as Web Archives, and basically what it allows you to do is view how a page looked in the past. It's an interesting feature, and it's basically like having a time machine for all the pages on the internet. The very next extension we have available is the Shazam platform extension, which is essentially a powerful tool or an application that readily lets you identify music as it's playing directly within your web browser. If there's ever a song you don't know exactly what it is, with Shazam, you'll be able to identify it. It'll tell you the name so you can go listen to it directly. Honestly, it's a really interesting feature and it's worth having it installed in your browser. The next excellent extension is for YouTube and it's specifically called YouTube Timestamps, which basically takes the valuable comments from people who post the most important moments of a video and then truly lets you watch that video by distinct sections. The next extension is for WhatsApp and what it allows you to do is hide your online status when you're active on the WhatsApp web version. Plus, you'll also be able to hide the read receipts when you view messages. It's basically to help protect your privacy in case you don't want others to know when you're online or when you've seen or read a message. The next extension is basically a feature that lets you put the Google Docs platform, in this case, Google's online documents like Google Sheets or even the online version of Word. Basically, just put them into a dark mode setting. It's a pretty interesting feature and I think it's one of the best extensions available on the Chrome Web Store, so it's 100% recommended if you want to have that dark mode version on platforms that definitely don't have it yet. The next extension I want to share with you is the Quick Paste extension. And basically what it allows you to do is have a preview of all the items you've copied from, basically your browser. If you suddenly copied an image or a specific piece of text, basically what it does is save a clipboard history of everything you've copied in case you want to reuse it later and basically have control over all the items you've copied directly to the clipboard. The next extension is called Extension Manager and as its name suggests, it basically allows you to manage your extensions more easily. With it, you'll be able to see all the extensions you have installed and enable or disable them whenever you really need to. It's that simple and with just a couple of clicks. Honestly, I think it's one of the best extensions that Google Chrome has today. And well folks, We've reached the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know you can support me with a big like and leave a comment letting me know what you thought. And that's it. I'll be leaving the links directly to my website so you can visit it and download the extensions from there. If you have any questions, you also know you can leave me a comment so I can respond as soon as possible. That's all from me, so I'll say goodbye and we'll see each other in a future video. Bye!